Hello, hello, welcome back uh, to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Look at that ugly photo. Uh, here we go, into the crown of the Immaculate. And I hope you're ready for some juicy story bits, because it's going to be a fight, and there's going to be a lot of juicy story. So let's go. Determined to die? One last chance, villains! Bow down and acknowledge your king! Your god! What the fuck do your legs even carry you, man? Alright, Not the other Dark Knight tank, I guess. I use Black Knight on them. We'll uh, overwrite theirs. better, doesn't it? Spinning it. Although well, we don't have any melee, so... That doesn't matter. They took quite a hit there.
maybe I shouldn't have let that Dark Knight tank. Their actions are not that much. You can tell because they're a level higher than me and they have the level 80 Dark Knight skill. I don't think they've used it. And... Uh, Now see, they didn't have enough MP to use Blackest Knight, and that's why I gave it to them. Because I knew they wouldn't be able to override it. I kill the one that has the tether on it. Uh, it doesn't matter who they have hate on, they just try to do uh, general AoEs. And if the tether's on them for too long, then that happens. And also that happens if you kill one that doesn't have the tether on it. So, yeah. That's pretty much what happens. Like we're tanking anyway. That's why you want to keep up second place on the, the hate list. That way you don't even have to worry about present provoke. It's not much, but it's not worth it. Yeah, nobody ever limit breaked. <laughs> I am more powerful. No, clearly not. That person in the frog costume takes this game very seriously. You did alright, except you never used any cooldowns for the tank buster. Unfortunately, a lot of tanks just don't understand, like, which moves are the tank busters, so... Anywho, prepare for cutscene!
Or I thought it was prepared for cutscene, but I guess we get some dialogue here. Well, it seemed like Vothry was completely in control still. Although maybe the Sin Eater was guiding his hands a lot more, and it was just his voice coming out. My dogs are howling. Uh-oh. Several cutscenes will play in sequence. Mm. Here we go. I hope you can't hear all the howling. It... gonna absorb him. But will we hold all five light wardens? Look, the sky. And with another fortuitous night time. <laughs> To accompany the night sky. What's this? Fools! Were it not for my decisive action, the whole city would have been overrun, raised to the ground. Yet they dare to complain about casualties? Spare me. I'll wager they were put up to it by those wretches who seek to usurp me. They're stirring up the citizenry. But if they think I will yield to the likes of them, they are gravely mistaken. To be subjected to such deplorable treatment, such ingratitude. You have my sympathies, sir. 
You do so much good for this city, and you could do so much more were you not surrounded by fools. Who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. My apologies for the intrusion, but I come bearing a proposal. One that will ensure the longevity of your reign. But give me the word, sir, and I will bring hither a light warden. By giving its power to the babe within your lady wife's womb, we shall create a transcendent being. A king to rule over all. And as sire to the king, your authority will never again be in question. <laughs> Amazing. Before my Vorthri, they behave as docile pets. With this gift, my line should be guaranteed power for perpetuity. We shall rule the whole world. By all means, sir. United under Yulmor's banner, men will cease fighting and abandon their ambitions. Thus, they will grow fat and complacent, and in their sloth, seal your supremacy. Hmm. It's like a mother brain plot, Fantasy Star 2. Forfend. He cannot contain the light. He's beginning to turn. Orange, if you've ought up your sleeve, now is the time. You don't have anything up your sleeves that you don't have. It's changing back. Combined power of every light warden is too terrible a burden for any one soul to bear. And so I shall relieve you of it. Channel this profusion of power to the Crystal Tower and use it to travel to other worlds. As I have dreamed of doing ever since I first learned of their existence. Who would choose to remain here in this dying realm when they might go elsewhere and begin anew? Not I. And thus, thus did I use you. No, no, I don't believe you. It doesn't make sense. Damn you! We won't let you do with him as you please! Do not interfere! Please, I beseech you all, let him go! You knew of this, Uriange. It is all a fiction. Such vaguely defined acts of teleportation stand no chance of success. The Exarch will never live to see another world, as he knows only too well. Then, what does he mean to do? He means to take the light with him into the rift. 
where he will die. From the beginning, he intended to sacrifice himself to save our friend and Norvrend. And the source by extension. At journey's end, an opportunistic thief makes off with the hero's prize. <laughs> a paltry way to end a chapter, I concede. Yet your tale will continue. And my role in it will scarcely be remembered. Worry not. Whatever should become of me, I will be happy and free. Safe in the knowledge that I have played my part. It's Grahatia. Thank you for fighting for this world, for believing. Fare you well, my friend, my inspiration. Ooh, gotcha. Honestly, that gunshot could have been louder. Oh, surprise, surprise. And all the scions were just... Only those who possess the royal eye of the Alagan Imperial line are capable of controlling the Crystal Tower. Such individuals do not exist in the first. Therefore, in all likelihood, the Exarch arrived here with the Tower. This much I had surmised, yet I could not discern his grand scheme. To think that he went through all this trouble for the sake of a single hero. It's almost admirable in its absurdity. Alas, it is not your grand scheme that will succeed, but ours. You bastard! Stay put. Your friend is still alive, but whether he remains so depends on you. What a disappointment you turned out to be. I placed my faith in you. Let myself believe that you could contain the light. But look at you now. Way to becoming a monster. You are unworthy of my patronage. <sighs> I am an Asia. My heart's sole desire is to usher in the great rejoining. A hundred years ago, I entrusted my comrade Logriff with the task of increasing light sway over this world. This we sought to do by manipulating heroes. When that failed to achieve the desired result, I created Vorthry. Thanks to your meddling, that too has ended in failure. What was your true purpose in approaching us? By your twelve, boy, have I not told you before that everything I said was the truth? You were specimens by which I might gauge man's potential as it stands. I genuinely had an interest in you, genuinely considered taking you on as allies. Provided he could contain and control the light. If not, then he. 
and by extension you, would be of no use to me. T'was as simple as that. So, we've been found wanting. How disheartening. But even had we fulfilled your conditions, there was no guarantee that we would cooperate. What then? Then I simply kill you all. At the very least, it would restore the world to the way it was before you went about trouncing light wardens willy-nilly. Suffice it to say, it would be most inconvenient to have all that light taken away. And I would be lying if I were to claim his actions didn't have me worried. Pretty vomit. Hmm. You still retain your form and your senses. But you have all but become a sin eater. Whether you will it or no, your mere existence will serve to engulf the world in light. Those in your company will likewise turn into sin eaters. And in time, you will succumb to your base instincts and hunt innocents to feast on their sweet, sweet ether. Those few with the will left to fight may rise up against you. But before your absolute might, they will quickly know despair. There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished! Ah, oh, the irony. What Vorfri achieved through bliss, you achieved through despair. But I have overstayed my welcome. I shall look forward to seeing you bring the world to its knees, hero. Exarch! I have naught to show for all the time and effort I invested in you. He is a small token for my troubles. I did not expect that I could learn aught from man, but I may yet learn something from all the knowledge he had hoarded for his precious hero. To you, I do. Your friends are now your foes. If you do not kill them, they will kill you. When it all becomes too much to bear, seek me out at my abode in the dark depths of the Tempest. There, you may complete your descent into madness with some dignity, far from prying eyes. Till then, Til then, I bid you I farewell. Eat her. Woo! Spring break! But yeah, if you hadn't noticed, we have, we have a sixth zone we still haven't gone to, and... Well, it's not over until it's over. Ah, finally. There's no way that was a dream. <laughs> After you collapsed, Emmett's self vanished. Then Reen did what she could to stay the raging of the light within your body. Thanks to her, you're still you. But she's only delayed the inevitable.
You're not going to like what you see, but you still need to see it. Let me guess. No more nighttime sky. It's like this all over. The whole of Norvrat is shrouded in light again. And it's because of you and the power you absorb from the Wardens. No one knows but your friends. When they carried you down from the mountain, they told everyone waiting below that they didn't understand why the light had returned. And now they're out there trying to allay the people's fears while searching for a way to save you. If you're well enough to be up, you're well enough to get some fresh air. Better that than stewing in here. Go on. Go. You want to help me out somehow, Ardbert? I mean, thanks for filling me in, but uh, you want to, like, I don't know, get in my belly? Take some of the light? Welly, well, well. Pain and the Glaven. So this time we have Crystarium uh, rest period, but it's like sad again because uh, I haven't been able to uh, to stop things. Just a meal, huh? Well, all things considered, I think I'll I'll cut this episode a little bit short. Uh, there's a lot more story to go still. There's an entire another zone, so it ought to be about you know, uh, depending on you know the rest of this rest period. Uh, it ought to be about, uh, you know, four or five more videos to reach the end of 5.0. But then we have to, we still have all the post Shadowbringers content. And, uh, we'll see. We'll see. So until then, thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe and have a good day. Uh, like and sub if you'd like. And I'll see you again.